kids, this is Mr. Mitchell here with Sidewalk Mathematics and this will be an introduction to the Pythagorean Theorem. Notice with the Pythagorean Theorem we start with a right triangle. In this case we know the two legs, side length 3 and 4, and we want to find the length of the hypotenuse. The trick is that this is a relationship among the squares. Now these are the two smaller squares. You all know that 3 times 3 is 9. And you know that 4 times 4 is 16. So what we need to do is add those two squares together. 9 plus 16 equals 25. And so now, if you can find the square root of 25, what number times itself equals 25, you'll find that the length of the missing hypotenuse, C, is equal to 5. Now, if you're one of the people who's crazy enough to prefer algebra over a picture, come on over here. I've started the first two steps to this question. Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. In this case, we know that the two side lengths of the legs are 3 and 4. Let's finish the algebra and see if we get the same answer, C equals 5. 3 squared is 9, plus 4 squared is 16. That equals C squared. 9 plus 16 equals 25. And so we'll now take the square root of both sides of this equation. The square root of 25 is 5. C equals 5. Let's go through the same process, but now we will have a missing leg. Here's our next triangle. Side length of the leg that we already know is 5 units long. The side length of the hypotenuse is 13. This is a little bit different because we already know that the square of the hypotenuse, 13 times 13, is 169. And the square of the leg that we know is 25. What we need to do is find the relationship between this hypotenuse square and the leg square we will subtract 169 minus 25 that equals 144 and then we take the square root of 144 in this case B is equal to 12 notice our answer is smaller than 13 because a leg of the hypotenuse is always smaller than the hypotenuse. Let's show this with algebra as well. In this case, we've subtracted a squared from both sides of the equation. b squared is now equal to c squared minus a squared. b squared equals 13 squared, 169, minus 5 squared, 25. is equal to 144. Take the square root of both sides of this equation and we have B equals 12. Again, thank you very much. That is Sidewalk Mathematics with Mr. Mitchell and so glad that you were with me today. Good luck and I hope that you understand the Pythagorean Theorem a bit better now than you did a few minutes ago. Bye-bye.